Hello everyone, my name is Joe and welcome to a short edition of Joe's Technology. I thought I'd point this out. I came across this while I was uh, out at lunch and I'm sitting there on my tablet reading the news and I saw this. If you haven't heard about it, the Pentium uh, G3258 has been making some news over the summer because it was a 75th, you know, it's the 75th anniversary edition. Plus, um, Intel has uh, released this as a unlocked processor so you can just go crazy and play with it. So a lot of people have been posting videos about how they've been able to get it up to 4.3 gigahertz, 4.7, you know, and and some, some have gone even crazier than that, uh, just to be able to see what kind of performance they can eke out of this cheap little processor, you know, a, as kind of like a challenge. However, most mainstream people usually don't overclock their processors. So, Here's the interesting part. One motherboard manufacturer, ECS, uh, has announced that they're just going to sell a motherboard with a Z97 chipset with a one key overclock to 4.7 gigahertz for the Pentium G3258. So basically, you buy this board, you stick that CPU on it, uh, you hit whatever setting it is that they give you, or, or uh, eh, they may have you flash your BIOS or something, and presto, you have a 4.7 gigahertz uh, CPU. Now granted, the G3258 is not going to win any awards for being like the most fantastic processor ever. I mean, it's it's dual core, you know, it's not a lot of power. But if you're building just a gaming machine and you need a CPU that's just going to pump out your your data and keep your GPU fed, this will do it. I mean, 4.7 gigahertz, okay. So it doesn't have the greatest capacity, but it'll be fast. And they're claiming that they're going to be able to have these stable. So you just populate this one little uh, thing here with, say, mm, let's be conservative. We'll say a GeForce GTX 750 Ti, which is the current star, as far as I'm concerned, of um, budget, affordable, yet powerful uh, graphics cards. Um, a 750 Ti, a Pentium G3258, and uh, this uh, Z97 PK motherboard from ECS. You know, this has Steambox written all over it. Oh, consoles beware. This thing's going to come and eat your lunch. And, of course, it's got all the all the goodies on it. I mean, even if you wanted to run it without a discrete graphics card, I mean, you've got HDMI and DVI and D-Sub, uh, you know, all, all the usual suspects. Um, supposedly, this board is going to be available for around $30 if you buy it as a bundle with the uh, the CPU. So uh, the CPU is about 70-ish. So with this board, you could end up with a motherboard CPU combo able to run at 4.7 gigahertz for $100. These things are going to fly off the shelves. Oh, Newegg will love it. And so will all the other uh, places that will end up selling these things. Ah, well, and as you can see, you know, people will probably be buying a lot of that DDR3-1600 uh, RAM because you know people will want to put the fastest memory they can into it. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I went over here. As you can see, they're already proclaiming themselves the overclocking champion with their... Uh, <laughs> here, let's get back to that. I, I kind of like that. Uh, with the little uh, uh, fighter's belt. Uh, so this is in reference to the uh, the motherboard that I saw in the press. And I was... <laughs> to be honest, I'm thinking of getting one of these. This, this has me intrigued. I mean, sure. <clears throat> in order to... Uh, by the way, the reason we're talking about Z97 chipsets is is that the uh, uh, this Pentium processor requires Z97 in order to be overclocked. But up to this point, a lot of the Z97 boards were considered premium boards, and so they were they were kind of expensive. And you know, a couple of companies have been talking about coming out with some uh, budget boards based on Z97. But um, to be honest, I, this one, I mean, for 30 bucks, this is the most aggressive one. All this thing has to do is work and run that CPU stable. They're going to make a lot of money with this thing. I will probably buy one. I, I can't resist. I had built a Steam box recently, ended up giving it to a relative who needed a computer because his computer broke down. And uh, I'm about to give away some monitors because I have another relative who had a monitor burnout. <laughs> yeah, called Joe's Junkyard. That, that's where you get your parts. Uh, it's very uh, handy to be related to me. Um, <laughs> Hmm, so I think I know what my new little Steam box is going to be running. Uh, I'll probably put one of these uh, Anniversary Edition Pentiums in it, and I'll probably get in one of these ECS motherboards. Unless somebody else comes out with something 
greater. I, I can't believe that the other motherboard manufacturers are going to sit still for this one. Oh, I'm sure Gigabyte and MSI and, and all the other usual suspects are, are going to be vying to come up with some kind of equivalent platform, but whoever makes it to market first is going to make a whole lot of money. Ah, we'll see how it works out. Just thought I'd let you know that this is coming down the pipe. Watch for it, uh, I think the article says, by the end of September. Um, here, let, let's take a gander just a minute. Yeah, see, it's saying uh, as a bundle for $100, so eh, end of September for the combo price for the 3258 and uh, the Z97PK. Hmm, I can't wait.